uh, if somebody breaks into my home in in this town of Bronxville, okay, will the police department be there to protect me from that? Yeah. But what happens between the time I call 911 and you get there? It takes a couple minutes to get there. Okay. In the two minutes, though, yeah. what do I do? In the two minutes, what do you do? Yeah. That's a good question. Okay, but basically, it's just in that two minutes, I'm on my own. Yeah. Look on the internet how you get a gun permit. Okay, how long does it take to get? In New York? It's yeah. About a year. A, a year? Yeah. So, so in that year, between the time I move here and the time I get one, um, yeah. that, that two minutes, I'm still on my own. Yeah. Pretty much between the time I make the call or the time the burglary oh, burglar alarm goes in mm -hmm. until the time the police show up, we're on our own. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah. All right. And that's any citizen. Between yeah. the time 911 is called and the time um, the police department shows up, we're pretty much on our own. Yes. Okay. Unless you have a dog. It's 2013. It's the United States of America. You, know, you lock your doors and you hope nothing happens. You're on your own. And that's the truth. That's why we have call boxes. That's why we have safe zones. That's why we have the whistles. This stuff's crazy. What do you believe? Why a shotgun? What do you believe? Why a shotgun? What do I do between the time somebody breaks down the door and the time um, the police show up? Just lock yourself in a room, of course. Lock yourself in the room and call us. Lock, that's it? Mm -hmm. and, uh, you just make noise. I would just make noise. Just make noise. scares people. Okay. Scream. Okay. And someone else is there. Scream. Okay. Like lock yourself in a bedroom. Okay. This is going to be a bedroom. Start yelling and scream. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
I'm on the internet and I see Vice President Biden. Mm -hmm. Okay, he's saying that we don't need these assault whatevers. No. Buy yourself a shotgun. Right. He's okay. Not a Buy yourself a well, shotgun for home you, protection. It's not for home protection. What do you? I'm not. What do you do then for home protection? What I'm saying to you: the rifle and the shotgun is actually for luxury. Okay. You cannot go out and stand on your balcony, and that's for menacing. Menacing. Okay, that's called menacing. If so you stand out on your balcony, yes, it is. If you stand out on your balcony with your firearm. Yeah. That's for. So if I if I do what the vice president advises me to do, I'll go to jail. No, well, you'll get arrested. Well, they, they take no people, time in jail. Well, well, they take but, people they arrest to jail. Yes, they do. <laughs> With police threatening to arrest us if we took Biden's advice, we asked officers about just obtaining a gun permit. You're on your own then, right? That's with everybody. That's with everybody. So I guess I'm either on. That, either that or you apply for a gun permit. Okay, what does that involve? You have yet to be resident for a year, I think. I'm not sure. Do you have to have a permit to carry to, to purchase a gun in New Jersey? Yes. Mm -hmm. To purchase a to gun? To purchase, yes. How long does that take? Um, I just did mine. They told me like three months. So, 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 so but plan. basically then for that first month and a half to three months, mm -hmm. you're on your own? Yes. In that two to five month window, somebody comes in, points a gun at me. Well, hopefully, you know what? It doesn't happen a lot here. Yeah. We haven't had that happen much here. I and mean, if somebody has broken down the door and is pointing a firearm at me, I mean, you know, like so that, you, crazy, you, that crazy you say, guy up in Connecticut, you say, he was let's, bound let's, to determine. Let's, let's, are you walking down the street and like, you, all of a sudden you got struck by, struck by a blind? Well, it's, are you, that's something you cannot control. Yeah. You wouldn't suggest, like, I buy any kind of personal protection or anything like that? No. Not at all. Okay. Milwaukee County Sheriff David A. Clark disagreed with the police officers we spoke with. Here was his public service announcement. Consider taking a certified safety course in handling a firearm so you can defend yourself until we get there. You have a duty to protect yourself and your family. We're partners now. Can I count on you? How on earth does that kind of rhetoric to the American people serve oh. any kind of sensible, rational purpose. Very contentious, this uh, commercial that you produced, the kind of Hollywood voice you put on, the uh, deep tones. And to have a sheriff basically imply that it's not going to help you to call 911, I think is irresponsible. Sheriff David A. Clark offers his reaction to our footage. I heard that throughout this video I just watched. Okay, we're not omnipresent. We can't be everywhere all the time. We'll try to get there as fast by, as we can. Several of them said, you're on your own. And that's the truth. Let's talk about response times. That's important. I heard that throughout the video. Okay, it takes uh, nearly 20 minutes to respond to an armed robbery. Just under 20 minutes. So we're not talking two, three minutes like I heard in this uh, uh, tape here. 59 minutes on average to respond to a sexual assault. And I heard throughout the video I, I just watched, well, it's going to take us some time to get there. Okay, yeah, we understand that. The average law-abiding citizen understands that. But it's like, what do I do in the interim? Well, I don't know, scream, put the phone up against your... I mean, that stuff's crazy. What do you believe? What do you believe? 